Yo, what's up guys? It's Cosmos here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best keybinds for beginner keyboard and mouse players in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. Just before we get into it, please be sure to use code COSMOS in the item shop because it is the best way to support me. And with that being said, let's get right into it. Getting right into the settings, I have my windowed mode set to full screen, not windowed or windowed full screen, as full screen will give you the lowest input delay possible. For my resolution, I am actually using native res, so 1920 by 1080. If you would like higher FPS, I do suggest using a stress resolution. Some stress resolutions that I recommend will be on the screen for you, and if you'd like to know how to actually apply a stress resolution for yourself, go ahead and click the link down below because I've already made a video regarding that. And then for my frame rate limit, I just have it capped to my monitor's refresh rate and what my PC can handle. I set it to 240 FPS. And then for my graphic settings, I have my brightness set to 150%. I'm using Tritonope with Colorblind Strength 5. And then for my graphics quality settings, of course, my 3D resolution is set to 100%. But for those of you out there who are on low end PCs, you could very much benefit from lowering your 3D resolution to 90 or 80% because it will give you an FPS boost. And although it does make your game quality suffer a little bit, the FPS boost is definitely worth it for those of you who are on low end systems. For my view distance, I have that set to near because it gives me the most FPS possible and the lowest input delay. For my textures, I have that set to low as well. And now for these two settings, auto download high res textures and high res texture reminders, make sure both of these are turned off because using high res textures will actually lower your FPS. And then for my meshes, I prefer to have this set to low. It gives me the lowest input delay possible and that's why I really do recommend them. And then for my advanced graphic settings, of course I have VSync turned off, show FPS turned on, and of course I am using performance mode. You definitely should be using this, especially in season two. Now this is especially important for those of you who are on low end PCs. Performance mode is going to give you the biggest performance boost ever. And then in my main game settings, I have toggle sprint turned on, auto open doors turned on as well. And then for mantle activation, I have that set to hold jump. For my combat settings, I have hold to swap pickup turned off, toggle targeting turned off, mark danger when targeting turned on, auto pickup weapons turned off, preferred item slots, here is my configuration. I have loadout slot one set to my shotgun, loadout slot two set to my SMG, loadout slot 3 set to my assault rifle, loadout slot 4 set to my sniper slash bow, and loadout slot 5 set to my consumables being my shields and meds and stuff like that. And then for some reason I have auto store consumables to the right turned on even though I already configured it in my preferred item slots but we'll ignore that for now. And then for my building settings I have reset building choice turned off, disable pre edit option turned on. This setting right here is a lifesaver. It really helps you if you accidentally pre edit your builds all the time like I used to. Turbo building of course turn that on and confirm edit on release I have that turned on personally because for my playstyle it just really flows very well for me and I really don't want to change it because I just love confirm edit on release so much and then for my extra game options these are not very important so I won't go over them however I will take you right down to my replay settings because if you want the most FPS possible and the lowest input delay turn off every single one of these and then in my HUD options I have my HUD scale set to 70% and I'm not going to cover the rest of these but if you'd like to pause the video and go over them yourself please feel free to do so. And then for my mouse sensitivity, on my X and Y axis, I have a set to 8.8% on both. On my targeting and scope sensitivity, I have a set to 35% on both as well. This sensitivity, I believe, was actually Benji Fishy's sensitivity, and I actually did use it for a video, and I'm like, this sensitivity is really good, so I decided to stick with it, and it's been my favorite sensitivity that I have ever used. So if you're on the fence of changing your sensitivity and you want to try some new things out, maybe give my sensitivity a go, and you might just find it's your favorite sensitivity as as well and if you do end up trying out this sensitivity be sure to let me know what you think of it down below because I personally love it and then for my audio settings I have my main volume set to 50% my sound effects set to 50% and I do have visualized sound effects turned off the reason for this is just for content purposes there's really no other reason I just decided to turn them off because they really make the gameplay look pretty bad and I want the gameplay to look as perfect as possible for you guys so that's why I turned them off and now for the part of the video you guys have probably all been waiting for here are my keybinds for my movement I'm using WASD obviously for my jump I'm using spacebar my auto run is on equals my crouch slash slide is on left control and then for force jog I don't have that enabled as a keybind right now my reload is on R my use is on E my pickaxe is on my tab key and my weapon slots 1 through 5 are on 1 through 5 on my keyboard and then for my building settings my crouch while building slash slide is on left control my wall is on thumb mouse button 1 which is my back mouse button my floor is on Q my stairs are on thumb mouse button 2 which is my forward mouse button and my cone is on C my 
trap is on T, my repair slush upgrade is on G, my rotate building is on R, my building edit is on F, and I am using scroll wheel reset like I mentioned in every single one of my settings videos. This setting is incredibly important to enable. In order to enable scroll wheel reset for yourself, all you need to do is click the second bind right beside your building bind. So let's say you put it to F here and then you click the second bind. All you want to do is scroll wheel up and then you should notice it says F and then mouse wheel up and that means you've activated that successfully. And then to complete scroll wheel reset, all you have to do is go down to reset building edit, click on the first option, mouse wheel up, and now scroll wheel reset is officially enabled. And as for the rest of the key binds, these aren't very important. My emote is on B, my map is on M, my inventory is on G, my down but down out carry place object carry and object place are all on F. And as for the rest of these key binds, they're just vehicle key binds and they aren't very important. And I'm sure you guys don't really care about these key binds. With that being said, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you did find today's video useful, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because that would mean the world to me. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching until the end of this video. And I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one.